Perry of the circus. Jerry of the circus. Hi, Sam. Ah, hello, Jerry. Don't tell me you're going to help us roast about this morning. Nope. Got more important things to do. What? Say, uh, listen, kids. You're Take a flipper there, uh, Sam. Think we got all day? Oh, my boss. I'll be seeing you. I got to get back to work. I'll be helping you one of these nice mornings. You just wait and see. Oh, hello there, Mr. Randall. Well, you're out early, Jerry. <clears throat> sure. You didn't think I'd miss watching Belko pull a truck with his teeth. Mm. Say, do you think it can be done, Mr. Randall? Yes, but it remains to be seen whether Belko can do it. After all, these circus lots are kind of rough. Oh, I see what you mean. It'd be lots easier to pull something on wheels over a smooth asphalt road than over a dirt or sawdust track. That's right. Mr. Randall. Yes, Jerry? No, I think it was awful swell of you last night to let Kelly keep that cat. Oh, no, it wasn't, Jerry. It was pure selfishness. How do you mean? Well, you see, we needed the cat. Yeah, but, Mr. Randall... Jerry, you remember once my telling you that I always do things for the benefit of the circus as a whole? Yes. That I never keep animals or people unless they really in some way add to the circus? Yes, but... Well, you see, in this case, this cat that Rags picked up yesterday in Evansville is really needed, or I wouldn't have let Kelly bring it along. You really think that sick cat will help that new get well? It might. Stranger things than that have happened around the circus. Really? You know, I kind of thought Kelly was kidding. Well, it's the first time since her mate died that... Maud has paid the slightest attention to anything. Yeah. And Kelly said she ate some of her supper last night, too. Mm-hmm. You see, she is beginning to take an interest in something. Animals are funny things. Maybe once you heard that poor kitten crying so loud, you kind of figured there was something else suffering more than she. You may be right at that, Jerry. But the important thing is that a very valuable animal may decide to live instead of grieving itself to death. Mr. Randall! Oh. Mr. Randall! Any of you oh, here comes right Belko here. now. Uh, Belko, over here. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see you now. So, Mr. Randall, you want to see the great Belko pull the truck? <laughs> I do it easy. Like a snap of the <laughs> fingers, it's not. <laughs> All right, Belko, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Uh, you got a good wagon or truck for me to pull? Yeah, I had some of the men uh, bring the bandwagon up to the back door. Good, good. See? Look, look, uh, this is the band I put in my teeth. Oh, yeah. You don't mean you attach the wagon to the end of those straps. Well, of course. How else would I do it? Boy, that's something. Well, all right. Uh, come on, Belko. Let's get started here. You got some men to start the wagon rolling? Sure. Any of these roustabouts here, they're almost through putting up the seats. Uh, but I thought you dragged it all by yourself. Who doubts I do it? But you just wanted some men to start the wagon. Sure, sure. Start. Uh, you see, Jerry, the uh, wagon must be in motion when he starts. Mm-hmm. His trick is to keep it moving all around the ring. Oh, I see. Uh, hey, you, a uh, couple of you men, get on this bandwagon at the back door and hang around. I'll need you later. Go, boss. This is the wagon, yeah? Mm-hmm. Is it, uh, is it all right? Sure, sure, of course. It is good. See? Now I strap this gear in front. Yeah. Now, turn this way. When I count three, your men push the wagon. Slow, slow, but smooth. Yeah. Then push it how fast? You want me to go around the track? Yeah. Then I, Belko, do the rest. Yeah, you hear that, man? Sure. Okay, boss. Jiminy Crickets, this is your exciting. Now, ready? One, two, three. All right, men, push. Slow and easy. That's right, boys. Now, just a little faster. Good. A little bit more. Not too fast. That's right. 
Oh. Now, that's about the speed of the parade. Okay, Belko, can you keep it going? Okay, boys, lay off. He's doing it. He's really pulling that wagon. All right, Belko. Right on around the track if you can do it. Say, do you really think he can take it all the way around? Well, I hope so, Jerry. It'll be a grand trick if he can do it. Boy, I'll say. Mm. He doesn't seem to be losing any momentum. I mean, the wagon's still going the same speed. Yeah. See, maybe he can do some of those other stunts he was bragging about. Like uh, playing basketball with the major? <laughs> nah. I mean, <laughs> swinging a trunk around and just holding it with his teeth. Yeah, well, we'll find out soon enough. This morning? Yep. See that rope hanging down over the center ring? Yeah. Well, he claims he can hang onto that with one arm, hold the trunk with the strap attached to his teeth, and swing the thing around while we raise him to the top of the tent and down again. Boy, it, it doesn't seem possible. He look, he's more than halfway around. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't seem to have slowed down yet. Looks like he can do what he claims he can. Say, I got a swell idea. Well, let's have it, Jerry. We can always use a good one. Well, now, look it. If he can drag that heavy bandwagon around, well, why couldn't he haul a lighter wagon with some lions in it, huh? Well, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'd say it's a natural. Hmm. Well, I believe you've hit on something, Jerry. Oh, here it comes. Oh. A nice work, Belko. <coughs> that's right. Keep going till you get out the back door. That's marvelous, Belko. Honest, I, I didn't think you could do it. Okay, that's far enough. <coughs> I get this thing oh. out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you see what a strong guy I am, huh? I'll say. Well, Belko, I'm sold. If you can do that twice a day, you can go on any time. Of course, of course. I do it three times a day, four times. Belko, he has great strength. Nothing bothers Belko. Uh, Jerry here has made a suggestion, Belko. Sounds pretty good to me. Now, let's see what you think of it. Good. What is it? If I should give you one of the lighter wagons to drag around... Mm. You not hear the Belko complain about this wagon, did you? Well, no, no, but uh, wait uh, until I finish. Suppose we use a lighter wagon and put a couple of lions in it. Think you could haul a couple of roaring lions along? <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good, I like that. King of men. He leads king of the jungle with his teeth alone. <laughs> 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 so, Jerry, you're smart, huh? All right. I just thought it'd be kind of exciting. Uh, you want to try out the trunk uh, turn now, or wait? Maybe you're too tired. Tired? To me? No, no. Belko just getting practice taking that wagon for a ride. <laughs> 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 All right. I've had a trunk placed over there in the center ring. Huh? Sam, uh, put a couple of men on that pulley in the middle ring. Okay, boss. You uh, sure it's safe for the men to pull you up to the top of the tent? For Belko, it is easy, like rolling off a log. For years, I do it five times a day. All right, you're the doctor. The rope has been tested, so there's no risk there. See? See, I use the same strut for this. I think you'd pull your teeth right out of your head. <laughs> Most men, yeah, but not the great Belko. Uh, Belko, you, you better lift that trunk first. It's a heavy one. Ah, it is nothing. Good night. He lifted that like I'd pick up a small suitcase. <laughs> sure. Belko, Superman. Uh, well, whenever you're ready, we're ready. Good, good. Now, Ferris, I strap this. <laughs> oh, then I lift the trunk slowly off the ground. I circle slowly, faster, and then faster, so the trunk will go out in the air. Yeah. Then I grab the rope with one hand. Then you give a command. Have the man lift me to the top of the tent and down. Not too fast. Understand? Yeah, yeah. Uh, as soon as you grab the rope, I'll give the signal to the men to pull. Now, uh, look, I'll uh, I'll pull it now. About this fast? No, 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 no. Slow. Yeah. Slow. There, there. Just like that. Yeah. I get ready now. All right, men, stand by and, and raise that rope just uh, this speed as soon as Belko gets a good hold of it. You can count on me, boss. All right. There he goes. The trunk's leaving the ground all right. Yeah. Jimmy, it's flying right out in the air as he swings uh, down. Steady, boys. There. All right. As soon as he gets a good hold. Good. All right. Pull it up. Slow. Slow. That's right. Steady. Say, look, he's still twisting around in a circle. Seems like he's going faster and faster. Yeah. Wait, look how red his face is getting and his neck. Say, Mr. Randall, well, it looks like those muscles will burst. Yeah, it's remarkable what the body can stand, isn't it, Jerry? Mr. Randall here? Yeah, just a minute. I'll be with you. Well, I got to talk to you, Mr. Randall. Well, not now. Uh, wait till this man comes down here. I'm from the Allendale Police Force. Yeah, all right, all right. Just wait till this man is through. Uh, golly. Say, he's hanging on to that trunk with his teeth. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, I wish my old lady could see this. She'll never believe me if I tell her. Imagine hanging on to that thing with his jaws. There he comes down now. Say, he's like a human bulldog, ain't he? Yeah. 
He, he did it, Mr. Randall. He, he did it. Yes, it's one of the best stunts I've seen in a long time. Okay, Belko. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Randall, but I got to see you yeah, right away. All right, all right. Uh, Belko, that's great. We'll talk about this later. Uh, drop by my office wagon after lunch. Uh, yeah, the great Belko will come. Uh, all right. <laughs> he doesn't like himself much. I'll tell you, Jerry, a man who can do things like that should be allowed to brag. I'll say. I sure wish my old lady could have seen that. Yeah, well, now, uh, what can I do for you, Mr. Uh... Uh, Shag's the name. Shag, uh... The chief sent me out with his note. Oh. Said to uh, be sure you read it and get an answer right away. Oh, I see. Mm, oh, that's bad. Anything serious, Mr. Randall? Well, I hope not, Jerry. Mm. Well, I'll have to see Jim Bennett about this. Well, the chief said to be sure you sent word back to him. Oh, yes, of course. Well, I'll tell you, Shag. Uh, tell him if he'll send a man around here this afternoon, I'll have a report ready for him. Right now, I have the information. Sure, sure thing. I'll tell him. Say, uh, you got a uh, pretty good show here. Best show on earth. Well, at least we think so. <laughs> <laughs> I sure like for my old lady to see what I just seen. Sure enough, if I tell her, she'd say it was a whopper. Well, I guess we can't have that, can we? Suppose you bring her around tonight. I'll, uh, I'll have a couple of seats put aside for you. You will? Yeah. Well, say, that's great. Uh, you can just bet me and the old lady will be there. Good. Well, I hope you enjoy the show. You bet we will. <laughs> well, okay, Mr. Randall. I I'll give the chief your message, yeah. and I'm sure he'll send a man out this afternoon. All right. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Well, that's that. Say, I hope it's nothing bad. So do I. <laughs> that policeman was kind of hinting for those passes. Mm, yeah, funny how folks would rather get things free. <laughs> he sure was pleased, though. <laughs> well, I hope he and the old lady enjoy the show. <laughs> I guess there's not much danger there. Eh, you're a mighty good booster, Jerry. Well, it's the best show in the world. Who wouldn't be? You know, Jerry, between you and me, I think you're right. Now I've got to see Jim Bennett. And I thought we'd moved away from where they were passing that counterfeit. What? More phony money? Mm, not so loud. I don't want this thing to get around. As long as you heard about Fordham, you may as well know that yesterday a lot of counterfeit was passed in Evansville. Good night. Yeah. So Jim will have to check through with a bank and see how we came out. Oh, see, that's tough. I'll say it is. Whoever's doing this thing is certainly going hog wild with it. I can see we'll have to watch that ticket wagon pretty close from now on. I should think so. But we're almost 60 miles away from Evansville now. Yes, but at Evansville, we were 92 miles from Fordham. And, well, there you are. Hey, they must be spreading this phony money all over the country. Well, I've got to see Bennett. Uh, Jerry, run over to the ticket wagon and tell Bennett to be in my office wagon in ten minutes. You bet, Mr. Randall. 